Hi everyone, this is D-Main with my first Hackintosh built Micro ATX edition. I am using the BitPhoenix Prodigy M for my case. You can take a good look at that. And for the motherboard, I'm using the Gigabyte Z87M D3H motherboard. For the power supply, I'm using the EVGA Supernova Next 750B, the 750 watt power supply, 80 plus bronze. For the CPU, I am using the Intel i the Intel Core i5 4670K. For the fans, I am using Coolmaster Silent Fans 120 millimeters. For the Wi-Fi, I'm using a PCI Express adapter from T-Link, TP-Link. For my memory, for my memory, I'm using a Samsung 250 gigabyte, 56 gigabyte SSD. For my memory, I am using Kingston 8 gigs of RAM, which is two 4 gig sticks. Alright guys, this is my second try with the screws. Well, you can't install them at the edges here because it's going to mess up. Um, it's not going to be cleared off flush with the bracket and the inside. So, the second one here, the second one here, second one here, second one here. So don't use the edges, do the ones in the middle. That will make it much more flush for you. I had trouble getting in when I had them on the edges, but now I did it this way is much more easier. So I'm going to install it now, back again, second time around. start to install the fans. I'm initially going to put in five fans. I'm going to put one in the rear for exhaust, two in the bottom for intake, and two at the top for intake. I'm going to start with the back. So you just got to remember the notches here. You can see that one, this arrow, means that the air is going to flow going that way, down, and it's going to spin going that way to your right. So I'm going to install it like this with the sticker, the, the literally the back sticker. They got two stickers, the front sticker and the back sticker. supply to the motherboard now so this one here has NB I don't know if you can see it this says most likely motherboard so I'm gonna hook it up now remember they have notches here you can feel at the back here there's a clip here there's a clip and there's a notch here on the back so right now I'm gonna hook it up Right there. I'm going to do the wire 
as you can see guys I did a bit of a wire management I tucked the fan wires underneath I don't know if you guys can see under there got it tucked underneath there um, the top panel right between the top panel and the motherboard but there's also a kind of like a back panel there it just wedged in there pretty nicely now for the CP uh, PSU wires they're all tucked to the side of the power supply nice and neat where the side panel is going to be so it's going to be pretty much good there and then I did the same thing with the other fans right there tucked it underneath yeah um, I did a bit of a uh, of zip tie in with that one above there because I uh, is going to be suspended you know being on top gravity is going to pull it down so I got it zip tied up there then with this one here the two four pin connectors right here I have it zip tied right at this point to the bottom so I can run it around here instead of having it in the middle here you know so it's pretty much good now now I'm going to in install the side panel and show you guys the little trick I'm going to do alright guys I'm installing the side panel now as you can see this is the side panel with all the connectors on it I mean like the power and the USB this is my little setup where it hides the wire the wires behind of the motherboard so you can't really see it and it's more of like easier access when you need to get back into the case so that you won't have to unplug all the wires or have to tackle the side panel all the time so now I will install this and show you how it looks from the other side alright guys so now this is pretty much the finished product a little bit of wiring still out but it doesn't look that bad it's still clear in the center good air flow you know and then I am going to see what else is needed to be done now I have here a two terabyte uh, Western digital element that I basically don't use so with my built my Hackintosh built prodigy M case I'm gonna install this inside but what I'm going to do first is to take the two terabyte hard drive out of the in casing so I'll just give you guys a tutorial how to do that too so now I just flip over it backwards and you're gonna need something to pry it so like literally I will be never using these whatsoever again from the back of the motherboard so This here is just rubber inside keeping it in and I've been trying to get it out so I figured like I'll use the knife here and pop it out easy alright there we go this is the case that is in the little case and now we have here the two terabyte Western Digital very black alright let's take off these rubber parts and then we'll see what we have here oh yuck a shot so this part here is just a SATA port connected to micro USB and extra power so now I'll put that to the side I'll probably use that for something else so now this is what we have here a regular 3.5 2 terabyte hard drive and as you can see there ready to rock and roll so now I will be installing this into my 
case, which is over here. Oops. checked in that you also got to remember when after you're finished make sure to double check and put a little force on all the components that has to be pushed in just to make sure that they're in properly because during the um, taking out and put it in other stuff it could probably loosen up so now my final step here I still have to put in the antennas for the Wi-Fi card which I will do after I put in the side panel. And I have here the two screws. So now, this originally was supposed to be on the other side. So to help me out with the wire management, I put it on, on the other side with the power startup. So now, I will tuck you in a little bit. See if this closed now. Look here guys. The finished product, the Bit Phoenix Prodigy GM Hackintosh Edition. It's all fans in the side, it's a spider bag. see in a few minutes how it goes once again my friends this was D main and this is the bits Phoenix prodigy M Hackintosh